Hey, it's me again. In this video, we're going to talk about a special uh, situation with diabetes type 1, okay, and potassium. There's a kind of a rare situation in which your potassium levels in your blood go too high with diabetes type 1. And I want to explain how that works. Insulin controls potassium in the cell. So if you have more insulin, there'll be more potassium that goes in the cell. Now, if you have insulin resistance, it's not going to go in the cell because it's blocked. Okay? But normally, insulin drives potassium in the cell where it should be stored. 98% of all your potassium in your body is inside the cell, not outside the cell, or even in your blood. You only have 2% in your blood. So in diabetes type 1, where you don't have enough insulin, because okay, you have to inject yourself, uh, that means that you can't drive the potassium in the cell anymore. So inside the cell, you're going to have very low amounts of intracellular potassium. And I'm going to put a link down below, uh, which I highly recommend if you're type 1 to get this test. It's an intracellular potassium test, and it checks all the minerals. But I think that's very important because if you go to the doctor and you get your blood tested uh, and it's high, that doesn't necessarily mean uh, it's high in the cell, okay? It means it's high in the blood. Why? Because you don't have enough insulin to drive it in the cell. So we have this situation where the cell is starving of potassium, but it's all just loaded up in the blood. It's called hyper too much kalemia or potassium. It's rare. Only 1% of the uh, people in the hospital have it. Uh, more commonly, it's hypo kalemia, low potassium, but it's very rare, and it, but it can happen, especially if you're taking massive quantities of potassium in your type 1 and your, your body is just, it's just not working. It's not able, able to drive it in the cell. I mean, the symptoms are palpitations, muscle pain, muscle weakness, numbness. I highly, um, it's highly unlikely that you're going to get this condition from consuming vegetables, okay? Even if you had 7 to 10 cups of vegetables a day. It's usually if you're doing massive mass of like 5 1,000, 10,000 milligrams of potassium. So I just wanted to bring your awareness up that if you're a, t a diabetic type 1, um, potentially your potassium could rise and you could have a problem, especially if you're trying to increase it. Uh, and then you should just know that that's the function of insulin is to drive potassium in the cell. But because you don't have enough, it's not going in the cell, creating a situation. Okay. So again, I think the most important thing to do is if you have any of these symptoms and if you're concerned about it, get a blood test. See if it is high. It might not be. But definitely also get an intracellular test to measure how much potassium and other minerals are inside the cell because that's, that'll give you more data. All right? Thanks for watching. Hey, I just wanted to take a moment to thank you personally. There's so many of you that have gotten this book and the feedback that you're giving me is mind-blowing. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And if you wouldn't mind, I have one quick favor. To put your unbiased review on Amazon, I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much.